Hey, hey, happy day. And the woman, she said to her husband, she said, hey, our love life is a bloody mess. Why don't you go down to the drugstore and get some of those pills? He did, he left, he came back in a little bit and he had diet pills. He lives alone now. Now, 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 talking about Canada, Aaron O'Toole, he's a leader of the official opposition. He's a conservative, apparently, so he says, and I'll bark like a fox if, in fact, he is. He's recently issued a 595-word statement. That's a lot of word each, 595 words to say, this is what I believe in. <laughs> if the liberals want to label me as far right, they're welcome to try, but I'm not. Canadians are smart enough to figure it out. Are we ever? We get it. You ain't right. You're towards the left, man. That's not good. Conservative means there's hope, and with you, there ain't no hope. We've got to have a party that'll get more than 30% of the vote in Canada. And most of the people that do vote conservative, they're not voting conservative. They're voting for the people, for the principles. They're voting against the other party. Wow, you got to kind of fix that. I mean, look at Rebel News, for instance. They're a right-wing news platform with no government help or anything else. They're independent, and people should be proud to go on there and be questioned, and then they can answer and be themselves. And O'Toole says, I'll never go on there because they're far right. Bah, but I'll go on the CBC because they're far left. Makes no sense. You should, as a leader of a party in Canada or any country, you should be prepared to answer questions no matter who asks them. Any platform, it doesn't matter what they are, right, left, whatever. The questions don't matter, it's the answers that matter. And, and you're standing out now by saying, ah, these people are right wing, I won't go there. That's pretty bad. And then, of course, they booted Derek Salone out of the party. They, it would be him. And he got 20% of the vote. That doesn't sound like democracy to me. 20, I think it's 20% or even 20 members of parliament, conservative ones, got to say, mm, we're going to boot him out now because we think he's bad. When the health minister said way back when that, you know, you got to do this and do that, Sloan said, um, what did he say? <laughs> she, ah, she's bad. And they all said, you're a racist. Behold it. She's got two spouses here, as it were. She's a citizen of Canada and she's also a citizen of China. So he questioned her loyalty, rightfully so. If you have two wives, which one do you like more, right? But anyway, this uh, one reporter, he writes for the National Post. He said, when I first read about him kicking Sloan out, there's no room for the far right, is what he, what he said. And he said, that's great. And uh, I'm excited. There is room for the far right. Describe far right. Far right means anything but what we have. I good bloody grief. You want to have big opportunities uh, you know, no red tape, <laughs> hardly, uh, small government, small taxes, and freedom. That's what you want. Then you run over to the U.S. survey and you got Biden who's made this profound statement. He says, I now will be the president for all Americans. How do you do that? 74 million Americans voted for the other guy, Biden. How do you do that? You can't. Half of the people want this, the other half want that. I want a wall, I don't want a wall, I want a gun, I don't want a gun. Where are you going to deal with that. How are you going to deal with that? That's a tough one. Good luck with that. Canadian government, they have a program going on with regard to firearms. Okay, They have this buyback program. <laughs> How do you buy back something you never owned? That's a bit of a mystery, but that's what they're saying, right? So I was thinking about that and I thought, you know what? I'm a good citizen. I think some days at least I'm going to turn my guns in. I'm going to do that. But in Canada, you have to have background checks done on anybody who wants to buy a gun. So I did a background check in the government. And I found out they can't have guns. They can't even have guns for the policemen because they don't pass a background check. They're mentally unstable. Just share that with you. What do you think? You know, uh, jumping back a little bit to the Conservative Party in Canada, they amaze me. They truly do. 70% of all Canadians have never voted Conservative. And, and these guys don't change. I mean, go after something like forced bilingualism. 17% of all Canadians, you know, think of themselves or label themselves as being bilingual, and probably most of them live in Quebec. It's cost trillions of dollars, and I think it's upwards to 85 or even 88%, I could be the number, of all Canadians don't qualify for government jobs because they don't speak French. And, and of course, it, it, that's silliness, right? Because those jobs are not in Quebec. And the Quebec people have a free ride. They've got their own language, laws, and so on. The rest of the country doesn't. And guys like O'Toole, no politician, will ever say, I like me, and I'll get rid of the Official Languages Act and save trillions. That'll be with a T. But these guys that call themselves conservatives, firstly, 
guys like O'Toole and so many in his group, they're, they're fraudsters, right? I, I mean, if they're a conservative, they'll bark like a fox. Because it's like, I don't know, it's like a call girl or a hooker saying she's a nun. I mean, I want to screw people for money, but, but, but I'm going to do it no matter what I'm called. And that's not nice when it's a political thing, right? I mean, they're not conservative. They're not. Conservatism is where the people have a free marketplace and they have freedom to, you know, when your choices are removed, of course, there's no freedom and you're not a conservative. And O'Toole, he runs it like his predecessors have run it, the party I'm referring to. And, and, and you know, you can, you got to do what I say and you can't speak. And every, it's old British law and they're still there. It needs to be fixed. Hey, y'all come back tomorrow and I'll have more fixes for you because I am the wiser advisor. See ya.